Paul, you said after the last game that it was like a film. You must have enjoyed the ending a lot better tonight. If the games are like they are, it's going to be a long film. It's going to be one of them Rockies or Fast and Furious 8 and 9. It's, it's a great night for us, fantastic night. You know, you come to Stoke with, you see the stadium and everything about them, the calibre of player that they've got. You know, we know they're going to go or will go through that little bit of a transition where, you know, the team changes, the personnel change after. And we felt if we could hang in there and maybe get a goal, you know, you never know. And it panned out a lot more than that. I thought we were excellent tonight. I thought we brought everything to a game in the end. Everything's gone our way, by the way. You know, all the key moments in the game, especially with Stoke not scoring when they were in the ascendancy. You know, and all the key moments have gone well to run out 3 0 winners and I'm delighted for the players. You must be especially delighted after getting that first goal with how easily you guys took control of the game. I wouldn't say how easily you took control. You never do at places like this, you know. I said it, for us last year, even the same would be for Gary. Do you know, the, you know, managers now come into these jobs and everybody thinks you just solve every problem in a day. You don't. You know, it takes time. You have to get your own squad. You have to get your methods across and it does take time. We're lucky with a team that's been together now for coming up for 14 months if you like and you know at times we look like a team that's been together you know so great credit to our players for, for the win tonight but Stoke will pick themselves up and go again that's for sure You mentioned the key moments in the game that first 25 minutes they had you under a fair bit of pressure expected here you, you know, expected so same in Phillip Park you know you've got to defend you know and it's like I've been saying to me, people have been questioning our defending and I just didn't agree with it because we've actually given shock and goals away Saturday, Sammy slipped and made a mistake, a penalty. You know, they're not weak defending, it's individual errors, and there's a massive difference. Tonight, I thought we defended excellently well. You know, the clean sheet was important to the guys, the results great, and sends travelling support home dead happy, and I'm delighted for I recall you saying last season this team, unlike any other that you've coached before, had the ability to put goals on teams, and we saw that before half time. Well, I think when we're stepping up a league, I think that was a little bit different last year because you, obviously you see the calibre of Nick Powell and players like that, Michael Jacob, Gavin Massey. When them lads are playing in League One, naturally you have the best players in the division. You know, great credit to them now stepping up a league, and I'm delighted for Gavin. I thought his goal was excellent. And Nick, they're, all, they're all doing great, and I don't want to individualise as a team. You know, it's great for us. We've stepped up a league. We know how tough it is. Nobody's getting carried away. It's a, such an unforgiving league with fixtures and defeats are never far away. So we'll enjoy tonight. You know, we wish Stoke well for their campaign and we move on to the next one. And we saw even at the end as Peter Crouch was falling into the box trying to get something on it. Christian Walton desperate for that clean sheet. Again, it's a big year for Christian in lane. And it's what people don't realise now. Football, no one's allowed to make mistakes. Managers are getting judged that quick. It's horrendous. You know, managers are getting sacked after four games. And what do people expect? You know, it's, it's chronic, the game's going to go to a chronic place. You know, Christian now has got a big year. Championship, Benny Afobi, Bojan, Berry, you know, Peter Crouch. These are top class players and at any given moment they can hurt you. So concentration levels are good tonight. It was a really good night for Wigan Athletic. And you mentioned the support. This place is notorious for the volume that the home crowd generate, but it was your over 1,000 fans creating all the noise. It's in, you know... Per person going to games, Wigan fans travel the length and breadth of the country as good as any fans in the country. They support the team enormously well, like I've said to them all. And you know, even last week, I think we, when we lost a couple, get stay with you. You know, support your team's good. It's healthy. Every trip home isn't good. I've had loads of bad ones, but the good ones are good. And tonight they'll travel back to Wigan very happy. And next on to QPR on Saturday. Yep, keep going. Tough game, very tough game again. You know, the challenge will be then all of a sudden people will look at us and think, I wonder if Wigan can go there and win. And we've got to keep respecting other teams. Every team in this division is tough. We're delighted with the win tonight and we look forward to something.